Welcome to Macy's Cooking Corner. And today we have Teresa Wilson with us, and she is preparing Papa's Wakaina as a Peruvian dish. And we left off where. What are we going to do? What What are you doing right there? Okay, we're going to make our queso fresco, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people don't realize how easy it is to make a, a fresh cheese, like a ricotta. No. Nope. Um, if you want to go ahead and, and have ricotta and stuff some shells, mm -hmm. you usually think, oh no, I got to run to the store, and Absolutely. that ricotta is kind of pricey. Yes. Yeah. The fresh no. stuff. You're going to find out in a minute. Just how it's easy pretty, it is. pretty easy to do. Uh -huh. So yeah. So have you been to Peru yet? I, mean, I have not. Oh, is that your next? Dream? Would you I like to do something like that? I don't like know. That? We'll see. Oh. I have I have several things I want to do. Is that right? <laughs> so you're never too old. You believe you're never too old to accomplish whatever you want in your life. I don't think you should ever give up. <laughs> I think you're right. Absolutely. You know, but it's true, isn't it? If you if you look at life like that, that if you are 40, 50, 60, 70, and you're going to live to 100, that's 30 more years. Of well, a good it's, life it's a you little could bit leave. different for me. All right, when, um, and, and this is kind of maybe a little TMI for a program, but mm -hmm. when I went in, uh, when I had cancer, they said, oh, well, probably maybe five years. Oh. And so it's like, why not make the most of those? Right. There's no good sense in sitting around going, wow, is it today? Oh, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> no, know, that like, is that's true. That's silly. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a good time. Right. So I think now I have more than five, but uh, yeah. well, That's fantastic, really. If I have five, I'm going to have fun in them. If I have ten, I'm going to have fun in them. There's that's no good sense in, in waiting around to for death to knock on the door and right. say, oh, come on in. Or, I agree. Hey, I wasn't quite ready. Can I pack? <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's fantastic. So I love we'll that. See. That attitude is the name of the game, isn't it, <laughs> I think, in this world, right? Well, it gives so. me a lot of fun things to do, and it makes it so that you're not frightened of death during a lot of you know, craziness. Right, absolutely. So one of the crazy things I'm doing is going back to school, which is kind of how I came in contact oh. with some of these things. That and I... I have a wonderful life where I have many friends and they come and just live with me. So, wow. <laughs> so when I've had enough at my house, I can just come over to yours, That's can right. I? Oh, That's wonderful. Right. <laughs> That's fantastic. I will remember that. Um, now, here I see that, you know, we've started boiling some water. Now, what, what is that for? All right, in order to make an egg, oh, these are eggs, and we talk, we're right. talking a little bit about the chickens. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the eggs mm -hmm. and the, the science of this. In order for an egg to be easy to peel, you know, if you want to do those eggs that are just going to fall yeah. out of the shell. I've noticed that. If you get fresh eggs, no. you boil them, and then half of it is off. I can't peel it. Yeah, exactly. Fresh eggs are the worst. Yes. You have to wait and let them age. Oh. <laughs> and this is a problem for me because I have chickens, and they are coming... Straight right away. out, yeah. Do you know in America, uh -huh. it can be 30 days before they even go into the carton. No way. To go to the shelf. And then there are another 30 days before they maybe get sold. No way. And so they can be pretty aged by the time you get there. And that, that kind of egg is going to peel so beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you get them right out of the chicken, they're a little bit, they're more like what you say. You yeah, go to crack them and tough. like, oh, this is not going to yeah, work. Right. So you do want to have them a little less than absolutely fresh. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is you want a hot start. Now, there's a lot of different science on this. There's uh, Alton Brown talks about it. He likes to bake his eggs. He says that's the best way. On, really? a, on a wet towel in the oven, and he puts them in there. But it, they bake end up an egg. Bake them, and it's yeah. supposed to be easy to, to do. But I found that when I tried it, uh -huh. they ended up being roasted flavored. They oh, the same. Really? The shells kind of turned brown, uh -huh. and the, the egg itself was a little brown. Oh. But it's a matter I've of, not the, heard of that. the yolk is going to cook at a different temperature than the white. Mm. And you need, then the yolk is in the middle, and you need to get it hot enough, but not too hot, because if it gets too hot, then it starts producing um, that green, like, around the yolk, right. and you don't want that. No. And so we have to go ahead and catch that spot, that sweet spot, where it's going to be just mm -hmm. right. Right. Cooked, but not, not green. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Green on the outside is okay, but yeah. green on the inside is kind of ugh. Oh. So yeah. Okay. So it, well it has I that did sulfur not know that. that comes out of there and tastes that sulfur kind yeah. of eggs that, uh -huh. that you get there. So we're gonna oh. bring these to a nice boil, and then we're gonna put these eggs in. So gently. you're gonna wait for it to boil, I'm and gonna then wait we're for gonna it to come to and a then really good boil, and then I'm gonna wait 30 seconds and let it boil. Uh huh. Then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer, mm. so it's just barely going because we don't want it to cook at that high temperature right. for the whole time, mm -hmm. or the eggs are gonna, or the the whites are gonna get rubbery. 
We don't want rubbery whites. No, no. So we want to go ahead and turn that down. And then now once the they another come thing out that, that works really well uh -huh. is you can go ahead and bring them to a boil, wait that 30 seconds, then turn them off and just let them let sit. Them sit in the hot water. In the hot water until they cool off. Okay. Now that works if you're. R I've mm -hmm. had that work and I've had that not work. So. And then also my friend when you Leslie peel, Carr, then does it who peel? owns Veronica Michaels in Spanish Fork, okay. taught me that trick. No <laughs> way. And then does it peel easier? Is it, it easier peels to peel? pretty easily. It oh, okay. really easily when you We're going to try it today. <laughs> um, no, today we're going to do, <laughs> okay. we're going to go ahead and shock them afterwards and oh, so okay. that they'll be ready to go ahead and peel immediately. Oh, okay. so and how do you shock? That's ice. Oh. So that shock is the change in temperature and with shocking it goes ahead and just like if you were going to blanch oh, something, you okay. shock it yeah. after you've cooked okay. it a little bit. Wow. Shocking, we could also, you know. Shocking, I didn't know. I don't know, we can show my legs or something. That's oh, that's okay. <laughs> you know, we're good. See, I just like using the word sexy, and that's all. <laughs> yeah, it's close yeah, enough. That's it. Yeah. Like, um, no, yeah. that would be shocking to me. That, that was. So, okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put them in here. Okay. And Do you have a system of putting the eggs in there? Or? Usually at home I use a nice spoon, but oh, okay. Yeah. we're just going to oh, gently look, you could use one of these. Could drop them in. That might work, you we're know, just kind of it. set yeah. them in. So it doesn't We've plop, got, got and then that going burn yourself. Here. So and we'll do a few of them. Say to my kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> just think No, case. try this at home lots Try of this at home, but you know, <laughs> don't just boiling drop it in there. Boiling eggs is a good thing, and especially since we're going to be coming up into the season of boiling eggs soon. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're hoping to get some um, chickens. I want chickens and goats. Oh, fun. Yes, and then we've got to get a dog. Oh. But I, I'm just a little bit apprehensive about having a dog inside. Get a dog. Chickens, we eat. Goats, we eat. No. Dog? Dog, no. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> just checking. Dog is my running partner. <laughs> oh, very funny. No, everything should be outside, including the dog. But anyway, we'll see about that one. Chickens okay, and so goats. we're going to let that go. And I think we're about ready on this, if, if we can see. I'll put this over here if I oh. have a hot pad. Hot pads are right here. Look at that. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, I to do that. So I yeah, wanted to show how this has come to a Wow, a nice boil. boil. You know well what it's like? It's not a boil. We've just oh, reached to a nice up. simmer. Yeah. Can you there see you that? Like Fantastic. That. With the nice skin. We used to do that for um, hot drinks, you know, when you boil in the water and then you add your hot chocolate. Your oh, hot yeah. Cocoa. Get it up in there. And oh, so lovely. now when it reaches that spot. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you want to this? So how much of this lemon? Can you use um, fresh lemons for this? You could use fresh lemon or you Kay. can use vinegar. You need an acid oh, is what you need. Okay. That's all we're looking for is an acid. an acid. I don't care for the flavor of the vinegar. Vinegar, right. White vinegar gives it a fairly neutral. Uh, uh, Apple it depending on how you're going to be using your cheese. Right. But it gives it different flavors depending oh, on what you want to do okay. with it. So we're going to add. Nice. About that About how much. much is that? So how much lemon yeah, was that? About Quarter cup. Actually measured. Usually I just pour some in. Okay, that's so uh, a quarter of a cup. So that's nice. Okay, and what else are you going to add to that? Or Nothing. No, we're just going to let it go. We can add a little salt if you want salted cheese. Oh, that's okay. And okay. so, yeah, wait, there's salt back in the cupboard. Okay. And now we are going to. Now that's really boiling over. Yeah, now it's come to a nice boil. Okay. And if you will hand me the strainer with the cheesecloth. Oh, wow. And so we're making cheese. I didn't realize that we were making it. We're a making a I cheese. thought we were making the, the sauce. We for are, the but we're making the cheese we're for the We're making the cheese for the sauce. Because it's fun to know how all these pieces come together. Right. You know, the, the little mamas, that little story I told you. Right. This woman is making her own whatever she has oh, there. And you can see these curds. Yeah. See those curds? So the I don't know. If I do like this, yeah. can you see the curds? We can, I think. Yes, they can see that. Wow. And I'll pour that through there. Oh, so you've got this. the boiled milk with the lemon, and it's all curdling up, as we call it, you know? Is that right? Mm. Yeah, those are curds. There's curds. our curds and whey. Now we're curds gonna look at our yeah. whey in just a minute. I wish I knew that poem. What's the one with <laughs> the curds and whey? <laughs> the, the, the little Miss Muffet. Miss, oh, Little Miss Muffet sat, sat on, on a Tuffet, eating and her curds and whey. And there we look go, there's that. our whey right underneath Oh, that's there. the whey and that's the curds. And these are our curds. Oh, and we'll let it drain for just really a good. minute. Do they mix it up? And now if you'll hand me that continue uh, right over there. Which one, this one? Yep. Oh, look at this. And this is this is what it turns out to be like. This is no our way. Our and you can take a snitch. I can. Yeah, just take a little snitch. Snitch, 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 snitch. This is cheese. Is that and that's cheese. That's just cheese. Yep. 
And so then, could you do this with almond milk? Just asking. I don't know how <laughs> chemistry would work. Probably not because what you're doing is the proteins in the dairy are going to be um, more tightly wound with that acid that's uh, oh. going in there, and that's what is going to make it come together. Right. And the fun thing is here, this morning I made this. And oh, I took this my one? Yeah, I made this one. Right. And I took my whey, uh -huh. and that makes wonderful bread. Oh, this does the yeah, way? Yeah, I oh. use that instead of milk. And so that's just one of those wow. fun things. So now we can look and see how that's come together as our nice little curds here. No way. And you can use that <laughs> in your for your pastas, for your ricotta okay. very easily. Yeah. That works out. Fantastic. So we're just going to set that aside. And that then we're amazing. going to turn these down. And I need a timer, 11 minutes. That has to simmer. Yeah, we'll test it in a second. We're way past Kay. our 30 seconds that we're supposed to do. All right. So I'm so going to set you wanna this. Do you want to set that over there? Yeah. That'd be we'll fine. That and aside. then we can look at it again. Or we don't need this anymore. We don't really need that anymore. Okay. Well, and we so have done a lot. I've just learned how to make um, a type of ricotta cheese right now yeah. with the separation so of the curds and the whey. And I could go home and make it myself. Yeah. You can go ahead and um, mix some eggs in that, a little bit of basil, and put that inside of shells. And you can use that for your ricotta. Wow. It turns out beautifully. And that this is, um, mm, well, you saw how much that made with a half a gallon Absolute. of milk. Oh, so okay. so it's, it's fairly inexpensive to do it that way as well. Right. You can add a little salt to it, too, which I didn't do. But mm -hmm. that's just, I don't use a lot of salt. Okay, right. <laughs> so well, we are going to come back. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. 